In functional genomics, our goal is to figure out what the actual function of each particular gene is. So figuring out the purpose of each gene or what protein or what proteins does the gene code for. So how can we figure this out? We have a couple ways. We can create recombinant DNA. Recombinant DNA is DNA that has one or more genes from a different species in it. And that might sound kind of weird. How does that help us here? But what you do is you identify a gene in an organism, let's say a wheat plant that is very drought tolerant. We identify the gene and we splice it out. Then we add it to a plasmid, which is a small circular piece of DNA, and insert that plasmid usually into some kind of bacteria. Uh, you can use other target organisms as well. And then you test for what protein is that bacteria making that it wasn't making before. And it must be due to that newly spliced in gene. Now it turns out that this technology is certainly used in functional genomics, but it's also been used to produce really large amounts of desired proteins. And if you look at this graphic, we can see how human growth hormone is produced on a medical scale. So you take the gene out of a human cell for human growth hormone, splice it out with these sticky ends, and put it into this little plasmid. That plasmid is then placed inside a bacteria, and the bacteria will follow the instructions of the DNA and produce this particular protein. And you can grow this in a lab, and it will produce large amounts of the growth hormone. You can just siphon them off and then they're sold to people who have a human growth hormone deficiency. So this is how a lot of uh, medicines are produced today. Another way to figure out what a gene is doing is using something called a gene chip. This is a really quick, cheap way to figure out which genes are being expressed in specific cells. Gene chips can also be used to compare healthy people and sick people and understand which genes are being expressed in the healthy person versus the sick person, and maybe gene expression is the reason for a particular disease. This video is going to give you kind of a simplified but I think a good visual for how gene chips might work and how you can see visually quite quickly what's happening in a particular cell, tissue, or person.